everybody, welcome back to Survival Dispatch. My name is Jason Salyer, and what we're gonna do today is talk about trash. Unfortunately, you can find trash everywhere across the world, and even some of the most remote places you can find garbage. Fortunately for a survivor in a survival situation, something simple, as simple as this tin can can be used for all sorts of things. Now, it seems to me that just about everybody I talk to, um, their go-to method for starting a fire with if you don't already, if you don't have a lighter or matches or ferro rod or anything like that, their go-to method for friction fire is gonna be a bow drill. And a bow drill, granted, is does have some advantages because it's got that, that mechanical advantage. You can you can spin that that drill, that drill really, really fast and generate a lot of heat and get an ember that way. The unfortunate thing about a bow drill, what makes it a little bit lacking is that it requires a few more parts, a few more moving parts. One of them being the cordage. If you've got some paracord, something like that, or a boot lace, that's, that's a no-brainer, it's a piece of cake. But if you had to fabricate this in the wild, it's uh, very, very difficult and very, very unreliable. The other aspect of a bow drill fire that's difficult to produce, difficult to find sometimes, is the bearing block, the handhold, the thing that the top of the spindle is gonna rest on and what you're gonna apply downward pressure on. That can be really hard to do. Um, it's difficult to find a rock with a good concavity to it. It's difficult to find bones and things of that in nature. You can use wood. You can carve a, a depression in a small piece of wood, a block of wood, but that doesn't really work that well either. It, the, there's a lot of friction generated on top of the spindle and that uh, inhibits you from being able to spin this and getting the friction where you want it on the bottom. So something that can be used is just a um, just a tin can, some, some trash that you might find in the creek. The bottom of this can works really, really well. It's very smooth, very slick, and it works perfect for that handhold, that, um, that bearing block on a bow drill. And all you really need to do, usually you can find these cans kind of crushed up, but if you find them in a hole like this and intact, all you really need to do is take the can on top and bottom, twist it, twist it, twist it, twist it. And then once you've got it twisted all the way down, crush it until it looks something like this. And that is gonna be our bearing block. Now, once I've got my can crushed down, the way that I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna hold, hold the can in my hand like this, and my wrist is gonna be locked in up against my shin. And the, the spindle is gonna rest kind of here in this corner. And I'm gonna hold that on a little bit of an angle so it spins right here. This doesn't work very good, putting it in the middle. I've tried that before. It just kind of floats around too much. You wanna kind of get locked in there in the corner. A little bit windy, but you can see that it's still smoking. And even on this kind of wet grass here, 
I've got myself an ember. So basically what you can see is I've got myself an ember. Even sitting on this wet grass, it's blowing, it's growing and being nice. It's a nice strong ember that I could easily put into a bird's nest. I could easily put that into a bird's nest and blow it into flame. And like I said before, like I said before, one of the most difficult things to create in the wild is that bearing block. And a tin can, just any old beer can that you find laying in, laying in the creek in the mud will work. I'm Jason Salyer. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.